starting all red. Don't know it work. Starting all red. We're gonna move on anyhow. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Truly, it's good to be in the presence of the Lord one more time. Amen. Amen. I woke up this morning. Come to my mind that you don't know what a day may bring. Amen. Amen. And we use that phrase so lightly sometimes. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what a day may bring. Amen. Amen. But thankfully, by the grace of God, we're here. Amen. 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 That's why it's a good thing to keep your trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. And just continue in his blessed will. Yes, and I believe everything will be all right. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we thank you, Lord. We honor you today. We worship you. We praise you. For you are worthy to be praised. God our Father, I pray now that you till this soil this moment. Get it. That your word may be planted and that the people may go forth and bear much fruit. Mm -hmm. Lord, anoint their ears yeah, that's right. and the hearts of your people. That they may hear and not only hear but understand, comprehend what the Spirit is saying to the church. Feed us, Lord, through your word. Yes. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. For you are my rock and my redeemer. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 The scripture will be coming from St. Matthew Matthew chapter number four. Begin reading that verse number 23. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter number four, beginning with verse number 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases and torments those which were possessed with devils, those that were lunatic, those that had palsy, and he healed them. And there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond the Jordan. Amen. Amen. We like to use for a subject from these few scriptures this morning. God specializes. Mm. God specializes. Amen. Amen. I know I talk about my grandma a whole lot. She made a great impression on me. And as a young boy, I would hear her on the telephone every now and then. Y'all gotta be careful about what y'all say on that telephone. <laughs> or what, what you say when you think them children ain't listening to you, amen. They hear everything you say. Somebody put it like this, they said, baby rabbits have big ears, <laughs> amen. But I would hear her every now and then. She would tell somebody on the phone that she been to the doctor. But, she, but now she needs to go see a specialist. Amen. Amen. And as a young boy, didn't realize 
what a specialist was. Didn't understand who the specialist was. Felt like when you go to the doctor, everything should be all right. But as I grew and understand, got a bit more knowledge, realized that the doctor can't fix everything. See? He may know a little of this and a little of that and a lot of this and a lot of that, but he don't know everything about everything. Help me, Holy Ghost. And see, what the, what the doctor don't really want to mess around with or don't have the most knowledge of, they'll send you to a specialist. There's something wrong with your foot and the doctor can't really figure it out and the, the doctor sent you to a foot specialist. Somebody that they, all they do all day long is look at people's feet. They specialize in the foot. Amen. From the tip of the toe to the, to the heel, that's what they specialize in. Whatever the specialist does, the specialist know more about whatever he's doing than anybody else. Thank you, right. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That's why you got to be careful when you hire people to do things for you. Every mechanic don't know how to fix the body of your car. Right. Amen. Some mechanics don't even mess with a transmission. Amen. You got to send it to a transmission specialist trying to help you today. Say it. Amen. Just because they can fix the flows in your house don't mean they can fix the roof right. on your house. Go ahead. It may still be made out of wood, but they may not understand how the pieces go together. Hey man, you gotta get it to a roofing specialist trying to help somebody today. See, many of us, we complicate our problem because we got people trying to fix things that don't know what they doing. <laughs> they may know a little of this and a little of that. They may even know a lot of this and a lot of that, but what you trying to get fixed, they don't know nothing about that. Hey Amen. Just trying to help somebody today. We don't get where we going. Be careful about the jack of all trades and the master of none. <laughs> Boy, they get you they get you in more trouble. <laughs> hey Amen. Have the specialist having to tear down everything they done done. And redo it. Amen. Started out with one problem. Now you done complicated it. Amen. This is not only so with. Uh, in the trade field. But this is also. True with the, our life. Yeah. Many of us. Have problems. In our life. Let me say this. All of us got some kind of problem. In our life. Amen. Amen. And we're taking our problems to the wrong doctor, if you will. Yeah. To the wrong mechanic, yeah. if you will. Yeah. We're taking our life's problems to the wrong carpenter, if you will. And we had one problem. And now we done got it complicated. Lord have mercy. All we wanted was a little peace. But we took it to the wrong problem solved. <laughs> now we ain't got no peace and can't find it nowhere. Amen. Now we can't sleep at night and we're taking stuff to go to sleep and still can't go to sleep. Now complicated. 
Help me, Holy Ghost. I'm just trying to help somebody today. Amen. The Bible t tells us in uh, Matthew, as Jesus began his earthly ministry. Amen. He chose out a few disciples. And it tells us that Jesus went about all Galilee. Listen to what he was doing. He was, he, he, he was teaching in the synagogue. And preaching the gospel of the king. And the Bible says he was also healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Notice that the list wasn't flip-flop. He wasn't just healing people. But he had to make sure they got the teaching first. Amen. Because they would have took their healing and went on about their business. That's right. Amen. Just like the ten, uh, the ten lepers that cried out, Lord, have mercy on us. And Jesus shouted out, go show yourself to the priest. And as they went, the leprosy started to dry up. And they, were, they saw themselves healed as they began to go show themselves to the priest. But the Bible says only one of them turned back around and gave glory unto God. Don't that sound just like us? We get our healing and don't even thank the Lord. We get our financial breakthrough and don't even thank the Lord. We even got a new day's journey and somebody still, amen, we, we almost, we, 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 we about 11 hours into this day and that still ain't told God thank you. Amen. <laughs> amen. So Jesus had to teach them. He had to instruct them first. He had to let them know what this thing is all about. This ain't a, it even ain't about your healing. This is about a savior that has come to the world. With power to heal. Mm -hmm. Jesus wanted them to understand. That he just didn't know a little about this. And a little about that. Jesus wanted them to understand. That I am the specialist this morning. Amen. Amen. The Bible say he was teaching in their synagogue. And, and preaching the kingdom of, of God. He wasn't just teaching them the same old laws that they got with all the other preachers. He was teaching them the spiritual kingdom of God. He was teaching them that salvation it doesn't come just by what you do and the acts of coming to church and all your religious practices, but salvation comes from faith in Almighty God through Jesus Christ. He was teaching them a different way. Amen. Not the way that they, they were accustomed of. And not only was he teaching them, but the Bible says he was healing all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases among the people. Now a specialist is one who specializes in a particular occupation, practice, or field of study. And Jesus, uh, the Bible makes it clear that he wasn't just healing some manner of sickness. He wasn't just healing some manner of diseases. But he was healing all manner of sickness. Amen. And all manner of diseases. Yes. And let me remind you, my brothers and sisters, that all sickness, amen, is not a physical ailment. That's right. Some of us are sick in our head. Yes. That's right. Amen. Some of us not only have a heart issue, well. it ain't pumping like it's supposed to. Yeah. But some of us have a heart issue, yeah. and it ain't loving like it's supposed to. Yeah. The intents of it are all wrong. And ain't no specialist in this world can help the intents of your heart. Amen. Like God Almighty. Amen. Which reminds me that God's 
specializes in all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. See, the Bible teaches us his fame went throughout Syria and they brought unto him, listen to me church, all sick people that were taken with many diseases and torments. Amen. Some of us think that we just can't hardly walk because our legs, one of them won't get into the in front of the other one quick enough. Amen. But some of us ain't walking by faith. Amen. And can't no leg doctor fix your faith walk problem. But God specializes in giving you more faith. The Bible says he gives all of us a portion of faith. But the problem with some of us, we ain't exercising our faith. But God specializes and he ain't no treadmill. God ain't going to put you on something where you're running and running and ain't getting nowhere. But when you move on behalf of God, he'll put you, amen, in a place from A and you'll make sure to get to B. Hallelujah, somebody. See, some of us, we go into the wrong doctor. That's the reason why we got the same problem we always had. But God specializes in your problem this morning. Amen. Some of us, amen, some people have an aneurysm in their brain this morning and need some brain surgery. And you might go to somebody that know exactly what you need. But some of us got other sickness in our mind. Amen. Some of us done bumped our head. And we can't remember who brought us safely this far. Help me, Holy Ghost. Some of us don't keep our mind on Jesus. That's why we ain't got no perfect peace this morning. And can't no brain doctor. Can't no brain surgeon. Amen. Help you with that kind of problem. You need to go to the specialist. Hallelujah. And he will keep your mind safe on Jesus. Lord have mercy. Some of us got too many diseases going on. And you're going to the wrong doctor. But thanks be to God. He sent a specialist down to this earth. Amen. The Bible even teaches us God specializes in orphans. Amen. Because he'll be a father to the fatherless. He'll be a mother to the motherless. He'll be a friend to the friendless. Look at the devil. And he gave me power over the enemy. That's why I don't worry about when the enemy, amen, messes with me. I have learned to identify. See, some of us are blind. And we go to the eye doctor. And they'll subscribe some bifocals. But let me tell you something. When the devil comes, can't no bifocal help you. You need some Holy Ghost goggles on. He'll show you where the traps are. He'll show you when you're about to be deceived. He'll show you your backstabbers. He'll show you every trap that the devil done set. Can't no bifocal show you that. Some of us got to get the shades on the outside. And they'll clear up on the inside. But when you walk in the spirit of God, the the specialist will give you glasses. You can see good in the light. And you can see good in the night. Ain't the Lord all right. Thank you, Jesus. I need a specialist in my life. I believe Bartimaeus said, Lord, that can you open my eyes? And Jesus said, your eyes are open. Your faith has made you whole. Hallelujah. How many of y'all going to get a bill in the mail from the doctor that ain't do you no good? Come tomorrow, check the mailbox. They ain't even help you. I went to the emergency room, and they asked me what's wrong with me. Ain't even test me. Ain't even do nothing with me. But I'm in the emergency room telling them what's wrong with me. And he gonna subscribe me some medication. 
Hold up. Ain't you the doctor? I'm not the doctor. Amen. Go ahead, How you going to prescribe me medicine from what I'm saying to you? Lord have mercy. Then the lady come in with a computer, say, we got to register you. I say, hold up. For what? I ain't staying here overnight, Emma. She say, no, we got to get your bill right. <laughs> Man, hold up now. I shouldn't even came here. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Then somebody came to wrap my foot and one of them said, no, no, don't do it like that. I'm like, hold up now. Who, what are you doing to my foot? Oh, it's going to be okay, Mr. Bell. I'm just sitting there like, Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. See, I was somewhere they didn't know what they was doing. Yeah. But I got charged for it. Mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Ghost. Right. But but I went to the specialist. Amen. I went to somebody that know what they're doing. Yeah. I went to the Lord God Almighty, yeah. the one that created me. And sometimes, my brothers and sisters, see, I'm not counting out doctors because they in their place for a reason. But my brothers and sisters, healing don't come from the doctor. True healing comes from God Almighty. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says they brought all manner of sick people. Amen. Taken with divers diseases and torment. Listen, my brothers and sisters, divers mean many. Amen. They just didn't have one problem. But they had a, a whole lot of problems. But Jesus was able to tend to all their problems. Because he is the specialist. Amen. When you go to an earthly doctor, they don't know all, amen, the solution. Yeah. But Jesus knows he, he got every answer to all of your problems. And not only that, they brought to him. That's the part I like about it. Amen. Not only those that were physically sick, but those which were possessed with the devil. Yep. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 I don't care what, if they got RN, LPN, <laughs> DRMD, or whatever initial they got in front of or after their name. They can't do nothing if you possess with a devil. Yeah. You got to go to the specialist. Yeah. One who has power yeah. over the enemy. Yeah. Amen. Yes, he has given us power. But sometimes the devil get too strong for us. Yeah. And we got to go back to God for more power. He'll give you power over the enemy. Hallelujah, that you will be able to tread on his head when the last time you rebuke the enemy, not in the doctor name, not in your own name, but you got to rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said there was a man possessed with a legion of devils. Nobody could do nothing with him. He ran around the graveyard. They try to tie him up with, with chains and tie him up with the ropes. But they could not do anything with him. But the specialist floated in from the other side of the sea. Yeah. Amen. And all he had to do was stand in the graveyard. And the man came to him. And when they looked, the man was in his right mind. Sitting there covered up. Yeah. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. He rebuked that legion of demons. Yes. And they went down in the pigs. Amen. And ran over the cliff into the water. Ain't the Lord all right? I'm so glad when the devil possessed me. Yes. See, the problem with a lot of us, you don't know you possess. Uh -huh. I'm going to pause right there. Because a lot of folk don't know they possess by the devil. <laughs> Amen. He making you do things Sometimes. you don't want to do. Yeah. He causing you to say things Sometimes. you don't want to say. Amen. And somebody say the devil, Amen, made me do it. Amen. I got news for you. You the one letting me. Sure. Say it again. <laughs> say it. <laughs> Can't nobody make you do it. Amen. All he can do is tempt you to do it. 
Amen. But if you learn how to rebuke him, Same. if you take that demon to the specialist, Hallelujah. he'll get him up out of you. Same. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 I'm about to leave you alone. But you remember Lazarus. The Bible says he got sick. They called on Jesus. And Jesus waited around. Amen. Four days before he went to see about Lazarus. Amen. The Bible say when he got there, Lazarus was already dead. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I'm so glad there's a specialist. Yes. Amen. By the name yes. of Jesus. Hallelujah. It just showed me through Lazarus. Yes. Amen. That God got power mm -hmm. that nobody else has. Amen. They can put them things on your chest yeah. and say clear. clear. Amen. And pump you with a little electricity. Mm -hmm. Amen. And might give you life. But when you've been in the grave for four days, yeah, amen, that ain't going to do you no good. Yeah. You got to go to the specialist. Yeah. Amen. No matter if you've been in the grave 400 years. Yeah. Hallelujah. One day the specialist going to crack the sky and his angels going to blow the trumpet and the dead in Christ is going to rise. Thanks be to God. Yeah. Can't nobody raise you like the specialist Jesus Christ. Your soul got to be saved. Your soul got to be reborn this morning and he will raise you up in that day. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will also quicken your mortal body in that day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah, somebody. God specializes this morning in saving souls. He sent his only begotten son to die on the cross. Hallelujah. Nobody else could do it. Nobody. But Jesus Christ. He died for our sin, but early one Sunday morning, got up with all power in his hand. Thank you, Lord. He specializes in construction. I believe he's a bridge over troubled water. He'll be a shelter in the time of a storm. He will restore you. He'll make you new. He can turn trash into treasure. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. He can turn your life around. Yeah. Can't nobody do it but Jesus. God specializes this morning. No matter what your problem is. Hallelujah. Whether it's a physical problem. An earthly problem. That's right. Or whether it's a spiritual problem. God specializes in whatever you need from him. Mm -hmm. He will supply yes. your every need. Thank you, Lord. All you got to do is trust him. Amen. Have faith in him. Amen. Listen to what he's trying to teach you. Because before there's a miracle, he got to teach you first. Amen. Before there's a breakthrough, yes. he's going to teach you first. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Before there's a miracle, yes. God got he got to tell you what he's going to do. That's right. And then you got to believe what he, he told you. Yes. And then he'll perform it. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. But God specializes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah. we thank you for your word. Mm -hmm. We thank you for your divine teaching. We thank you for the preaching of your word. Mm -hmm. And we pray that your word won't fall on deaf ears. Soften up the hearts of your people. That they may receive your words. Remind them, O oh God, that you are our only help. You are our only hope in this dark world. Mm -hmm. Teach us how to lean and depend on you. Yeah. Strengthen our faith, O oh God. Lord God, that we'll be able to trust you and run on and see what the end is going to be. Remind us, oh God, when we get in trouble or when the enemy is on the attack. 
Remind us that you are our specialist. You specialize in working miracles. You specialize in breakthrough. You specialize, oh God, in doing wondrous works. So touch us, Lord. Touch us with your healing hand. Heal us from the inside out. And we'll be careful to give your name, praise, honor, and glory. For you are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Truly, we thank God for his word. And I'm so glad places in the hearts of his disciples to write down the things that you see. Hallelujah. Yeah. To record what you have seen. That's right. What you have heard come out the mouth of the Savior. That we, many, many years later, will be able to read what thus saith the Lord. If they had not been obedient, we wouldn't even have a record of our Savior. But he reminds us in his word today that he can heal all manner of sickness, all manner of diseases, and he even had power mm. over the devil. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spiritual ailments and physical diseases. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen.